What's going on, y'all? It's Malcolm Miller, shoot, representing the White Sox, just a Chicago kid, just a kid from Chicago, hoodie, because I'm from the crib and it's cold outside. But anyway, I want to talk about social media creating an illusion for people to believe that they're so far behind in life, they're not doing nothing right in their life, and everybody is living this perfect life that they're not. Social media, why are you thinking that you're missing out on all of life's joys and pleasures? Because your friends that you follow posting up videos of them partying every weekend, popping bottles, like dressing in all this expensive high-end clothes, and going on trips every single month to the, the Bahamas, to Florida, the Miami, Cali, all of this type of stuff. you thinking that your life is terrible. And I want people to realize that social media allows people to create a, a facade. Now, you can hide, you can post all of the good moments in your life, but people don't never post the shortcomings that they go through. They don't never fall the, the setbacks, they don't never post the setbacks that they're going through in their life. Only thing they're going to show you is the good stuff. So I want people to realize that no matter what's going on in, on your timeline, you have your own life to live and you got to go at your own pace. Everything's, everything that's for you will happen for you, no matter what. Uh, you think or no matter what you think you got bad luck or anything like that when it's your time it's your time and everything will happen in due season I mean, that's my motto you know what i mean god's gonna open a god gonna open up that avenue for you to get to where you're trying to go don't get discouraged when you're looking at all your friends on social media doing all this crazy stuff and, and first of all most of the time they not they not living like what they really posting at all you know what i mean like Things, either they spent their last to go out there, so now they got to worry about their car note. They got to worry about their they bills because they spent their they last trying to go to an event. And really, they ain't even enjoying it because they stay so busy posting it on Snapchat and on, on Instagram and all this type of stuff that they really just posting it for other people's enjoyment, not their own. So I want people to realize that out, social media is one world. Outside of social media is the real life, is the real world, real life. And real world issues. So if you trying to better yourself and you trying to get on your feet, you just out working and you out trying to trying to find your way, going to school, you doing what you got to do. Don't worry about what everybody else doing and how it looks to everybody else. Your life might not look the, the most fun, but from afar, I know people are saluting you for doing what you got to do to uh, do what you want to do in the future. Do what you got to do to do what you want to do in the future. You know, um... I see it all the time, man. So many people that I know be on social media stunning and going crazy. And then they don't never post nothing else they're going through. But I know what they're going through because, you know, they either talk about it to people that I know, you know what I'm saying, or time, I just know these people individually. So I know it's not all what it's cracked up to be, how they posting. So never get discouraged from everybody, what they, what other people are doing on social media. Because if you're looking at social media, you will think you are a loser. You ain't got nothing going for yourself when it's the total opposite. Um, you know, yeah, I, I, I went to Vegas not too long ago, went to the Bears game and all that type of stuff. But I'll tell you, I'm by no means balling. You know what I'm saying I got boring days where I'm just watching sports on a Sunday, just chilling. You know what I mean? It, it's nothing nothing fantastic about it. You know what I mean? Get up, go, you know what I mean, and, and, and work, come to the crib, all that type of stuff. And that's fine. If you get up and work and go home, that, there's nothing wrong with that. But people that make it seem like if you're not hitting up the club every weekend, if you want to just relax and chill with your family, oh, you ain't on nothing because they out living life and doing all this type of stuff. But don't get discouraged, man, especially the people that just graduated from school. Like, I'm in the same predicament now, you know what I mean? Just graduated with my master's degree in May, and uh, you got to go through the process of finding a job, going through a process of, uh, you know, trying to make yourself stand out, which you automatically believe that, you know, what your degree is supposed to do, but sometimes it gets hard, and shoot, you don't have the funds to be doing all this type of stuff because you're trying to find work, or you... Or you just, you know, you so busy working that you don't have time for that because you got so much responsibilities to take care of. So I just want to tell y'all, the people that's handling y'all business, I salute y'all, man. You know, anybody having fun, I salute y'all too. Hey, you're supposed to have fun and enjoy your life. But I just want those that see other people having fun and they, I don't want them to get discouraged thinking that they're not doing something right or they just missing out on what's going on. My homie Kiefer Sykes, KD always tell me, man, everybody got their got they own pace Everybody got their own path to greatness, and you got to go at your own pace. You can't look, 
in your rearview mirrors or looking on your, looking on the side and see what everybody else is doing. You got to worry about you, and you're going to get where you need to go. So don't even trip. You got it.